Hi friends, this is Paul the Pipe Guy again, and I just wanted to touch on uh, one little thing. Um, in upstate New York, it's winter time here, so it gets cold, so obviously I've been turning the heat on, and when I come home, I like to turn it up to about 70 to 72 degrees, and uh, I've always had this humidor. I made this humidor. It's made out of solid mahogany, and um, it's always kept my tobacco very nice, cigars and so forth. And for some reason, I had some cherry aromatic, or I'm sorry, apple aromatic tobacco in there. And I came home and I went to try it out, and it was dry as sawdust. And I had the humidor and everything filled with water, you know, distilled water you only want to use. And I'm thinking, what could be the problem? Well, I had it on the back side of my desk. And underneath down here, you probably can't see that, but I have register baseboard register hot water heat. So what was happening is the heat was coming up, hitting the underside of the back of the desk where I had my humidor, and... Um, it dried my tobacco out. It took me a moment to figure that out. So what I did is I basically took it and it's now resting nicely in my mason jars. And in my mason jars, I uh, made a little bowl out of uh, tin foil and put some cotton balls soaked in uh, water and only use distilled water or it will uh, it will tend to ruin your tobacco and cause a little mossy stuff to start growing mold so I had probably a pound and a half in there and now it's gently uh, being rehydrated in my mason jars so I think that's where I'm going to keep it, at least for the winter time. If I do buy more pipe tobacco, I'll keep it in my humidor. Um, you know, all through the summer it was totally fine, but when it started to get cold and that heat transferred up through the desk and through the bottom of the humidor, it dried it out like sawdust. But thankfully, Nothing will be at a loss because I'm going to rehydrate it and it's going to be good as ever. Anyway, this is Paul the Pipe Guy with just a short thought. Thank you for watching my channel. Subscribe. Share it with your friends. Give them a shout out if you like Paul the Pipe Guy. From Rochester, New York. Over and out. And happy smoking pipe people.